Coming up on the DMT One to One Show, episode 74, on the 11th of September 2014, an interview with Marcus Russell, CEO of the company Gigmit. This week's show is brought to you by Play MPE, providing secure music distribution and promotional services to the world's largest labels for over 10 years, with templates that dynamically integrate metadata, artwork, text, social media and video to deliver a rich multimedia experience to recipients. Find out more on plaympe.com. Hello everyone and welcome to the DMT 1 to 1 show and this week it's a real pleasure to welcome Marcus Russell, the CEO of the company Gigmit. So hi Marcus, and thanks for joining me today. How's it going? Hi, I'm good. It's great to have you and we just uh, sort of uh, both met at uh, Berlin Music Week which was uh, uh, great and, uh, and you know we've been in touch for a year almost so I can't believe that we haven't managed to do this sooner uh, but uh, first of all I'd like to introduce uh, our audience to what Gigmit does so uh, could you uh, give us your elevator pitch essentially on, on what the company is all about? Sure, no problem. I mean, Gigmit is uh, an online platform uh, for musicians and promoters. Um, you can easily find thousands of uh, successful artists uh, online from every kind of genre and all over the world. And we started in Berlin. Uh, so here are the majority of um, artists and promoters, but we are already um, yeah, on an international, working on an international level. That's awesome. And so uh, it, uh, tell me a little bit about how the company started out. When did you first uh, uh, think about uh, uh, getting it together, getting started, and how did it develop from there? Um, I originally have been working as a, a promoter. So I did a festival and club events, and I decided to um, um, combine like uh, my technology interests and technology with um, an online uh, solution for the live music industry, which I didn't find in, in that uh, time. Yeah. And I uh, uh, then I decided with a couple of friends to uh, um, develop on our own a uh, new platform for music booking to help artists and to liberalize the market a little bit, that the artists get access to uh, almost all available uh, club shows um, and on the other side promoters have a great system that's very easy to book and negotiate uh, to book artists and negotiate everything and uh, handle all the booking uh, tasks absolutely and so uh, talking about how you started uh, to get the ball rolling essentially did you, did you approach it from a promoter's perspective from an artist's perspective uh, or what do you think was the, the easiest way in in, in this field um, I'm, I'm, uh, because of the fact that I've been working as a promoter, uh, our perspective was really strong related to promoters, right. um, which is good, I think, because um, what we wanted is that promoters are happy uh, um, to use the system. So, um, and we, now we have uh, more than a thousand promoters online, which is uh, wow. finally great for artists to have access to so many uh, promoters and shows. And uh, still, um, we have a kind of uh, marketing and sales strategy to, prom especially to promoters, to um, get them on board uh, because at the end, all the time, the artists uh, will profit from this. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And so, uh, you know, looking at the list of events that you collaborated with, you know, it's uh, Berlin Music Week and CO Pop, uh, Jazz Head. Uh, we're talking about the festival in Bremen, uh, which I, I love Bremen, so I'm kind of obsessed with that city for some reason. And, uh, you know, uh, Waves, Bratislava. And so, uh, of course, at this point, uh, I guess promoters are coming to you and, and festivals to, to get this, uh, these gigs organized. That's true. I mean, uh, all those festivals get more than 500,000 or even thousands of artist applications. So um, that's why they need a tool to handle those applications. And there isn't much that is so complex and comfortable in the same time. Um, because we've worked uh, with the, very hard with the Berlin Music Week to uh, create a system that works for really thousands of artists' applications and uh, a small team that needs to to handle this. Um, and that's why now uh, all those uh, festivals like um, showcase festivals and uh, festivals that are looking also for emerging artists uh, come to us to 
um, yeah, collaborate with us or ask us for uh, help to use the system. Absolutely. And so uh, let's uh, look at the model. Of course, uh, uh, our listeners in the US will be familiar with uh, uh, Sonic Bits uh, as sort of a, a benchmark uh, in a sense. Uh, but you have a very different way that you go about sort of uh, uh, working out how artists get through to the promoter and also how you, you charge uh, for the service as well. So how, how does that work uh, uh, at Gigamit? Yeah, that's true. Um, originally, we uh, also were thinking about a commission um, to charge, but uh, nowadays we really are focused on offering a free version for all. So it's free for artists to use it in a basic version, and it's free for promoters at all. Um, so um, artists that want to apply to a festival just can apply for free. They don't need to pay an application fee like some uh, of you might know from Sonic Bits. And um, on the other side, if an artist want to uh, achieve more uh, through the system, like want to apply to hundreds of shows or uh, want to have a kind of better promotion on uh, our system, we offer some premium plans and uh, the artist can use these premium plans. And which is also really uh, new and I'm really excited to um, create this, is a new premium plan with a booking agency service. Right. So we have booking agents in-house here and as an artist you can um, upgrade uh, to a premium plan which is uh, 159 euro a month um, and you get a personal booking agent who is doing your work and you still are receiving 100% uh, of the salaries of the artist fees you um, achieve and the agent is negotiating for you so um, which is, I think, um, a really new and different model uh, in the whole industry. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we are looking forward to um, get the first artists uh, on board using this service. Um, I mean, we tested it already uh, with a booking agency that we founded um, half a year ago, and it worked already great. But um, now it's like the, the, uh, we will scale it a little bit and open it up for uh, all of our users. Yeah, absolutely. And talking about feature sets, so uh, w you know, w what do you feel well, is the the key feature that uh, promoters uh, uh, look for in a service like Gigmit uh, that makes their job easier? Um, I mean, promoters re are receiving a lot of emails, hundreds of emails a day, and they are not able to check all those uh, emails. Right. So what we uh, created is a page that is um, an, an artist page that is uh, specified for a promoter. Like uh, we uh, gather all information that are important to decide if you want to um, do this show or not, which is, for example, uh, all details about the fan base, yep. but of course, music and and, and live videos, uh, but also all the information about uh, shows, uh, upcoming shows and past shows that you can easily decide does this artist fit in your program or your festival. Um, so this is like the basic and as a promoter you can set up shows and say I'm just looking for local artists or uh, I'm looking for jazz, just for jazz artists for example and only jazz artists can apply. Um, so you have already a filter of only uh, of all those artists that you are looking really looking for and interested in and uh, you set up your all your conditions before that there is no uh, problem at the end so once if an artist and a promoter is interested um, to make a show that then at the end the artist will uh, receive more money or expect more money than the promoter has in mind yeah so um, to make this transparent is uh, I think a really goal in the music industry and yeah. um, we're um, we did this and we have a really good experience. Also, our promoters are happy to to uh, get to make such experiences like booking an artist in one day, uh, including all the contract stuff and so on, because this is also a service that we are offering that as a promoter, you get uh, a contract that is individual to your needs and you can um, sign those contracts digitally yeah. uh, both parties and uh, you don't need to send emails or uh, a printed uh, a paper um, to the artist and wait and wait and wait so 
um, yeah, a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of uh, things that we uh, improve, but uh, yeah. all in all, uh, it's a great feature set for promoters. And so, talking about international expansion, you, you mentioned that uh, earlier on. Uh, I wanted to ask you, so how are you organizing that, and do you feel like you need to have feet on the ground in some of these territories, and, and if so, how are you planning to expand? So far, the platform is uh, already in two languages languages available, like uh, German and uh, English. Yeah. Um, what we are doing now is like to look closer to contract details, taxes, uh, currencies, and so on. So we will uh, improve the system in that way and add uh, all the for example all the currencies that are necessary um, and um, we have already a user base in uh, all over Europe and uh, also some in the US but um, we will of course need to um, uh, grow that uh, once we, we are international we, we are going international um, what is important uh, in this areas that we um, collaborate this year with the uh, uh, Liverpool Sound City, which yeah. is pretty uh, a new deal that we made. And Liverpool Sound City is like the first uh, major festival that works exclusively through GigMit, where we can um, test a lot of uh, things looking to internationalization. And also we will open an office in uh, the US this year. We will um, uh, have a whole team there that is uh, available for promoters and artists. And uh, then it's also easier for for, for um, both parties uh, to get help and uh, yeah, use the system from there without waiting um, because of time zones and so on. Of course, and and so uh, looking at uh, Berlin, obviously you're based uh, uh, in Berlin in in the in the hip part, I guess. Of uh, there's a lot of startups around there. But the interesting thing about Berlin is that uh, I was actually in a panel uh, talking about uh, startup hubs uh, at Berlin Music Week uh, just a few days ago, and. Uh, it's interesting because, of course, there is a lot of startups in Berlin uh, and people associate Berlin with music. Uh, but aside from, you know, the obvious ones like SoundCloud and a, and a couple of other uh, success stories, you know, of course, Ableton is sort of the original startup because they uh, native instruments as well. You know, they, they, they are companies that have uh, sorry, native instruments, especially that, that have grown up in Berlin. Uh, and so how do you find the ecosystem uh, there? And do you find that there are there is like a, a undergrowth of music startups that perhaps haven't really surfaced uh, uh, or is the, the landscape you know, relatively small still? Um, I think it's uh, small, uh, but I, I mean, I know mostly all of the music-related startups here in yeah. Berlin. <laughs> of course. But, uh, but those are, I, I don't know, 50 maybe. Wow. And um, yeah, I mean, to uh, have the connection to those guys. I mean, I know uh, the people from Ableton and SoundCloud as well as like really starting companies that are, uh, they that, uh, have the initial ideas. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, very interesting to uh, speak to those guys because it's still familiar. And I uh, have to say that I really like this uh, familiar atmosphere because it's uh, much uh, nicer than to go to an event with thousands of music startups yes, and uh, not not uh, are able to overview the market. So we can, for example, there are other platforms that are related a little bit to the live uh, scene or to ticketing, yeah. and it's very easy easy to talk to them and we are in contact with those guys to um, uh, yeah uh, are able to implement features and so on so um, I mean I have to say Berlin is a great spot for it but uh, for us it's not the end it's just the beginning and we are looking for London and New York now to yeah have access to to other markets and be there also locally available that's fantastic and uh, and uh, yeah I mean uh, it looks like the 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 live industry especially at this level is still uh, really buzzing and there's a real need for technological advancement in to, to provide solutions for some of the problems that that people are having so it's really exciting to talk to startups that are uh, looking at providing the solution and doing it pretty effectively like you guys are and uh, that's pretty much it but uh, you know of course i would direct people to uh, gigmit.com uh, for uh, more information on the company and to check out what you're doing anything that i might have missed that we should have talked about marcus 
Yeah, there's one thing uh, I want to add. We are uh, offering, uh, I mean, it's really good to um, uh, go to G GigMit and sign up now because we are offering one free day um, in a music studio in Berlin. So as an artist, if you um, just sign up on uh, GigMit and uh, create an account, you are able to win those studio day. Um, so um, I'm excited to have you on nice. board and uh, check it out. Awesome, and so it's a contest as well. Uh, perfect, yeah. and uh, uh, yeah. So uh, thanks so much for your time, and uh, we'll of course we'll keep in touch and uh, let us know if there's anything uh, uh, of of note uh, to report. And uh, thanks so much for listening to the DMT One to One Show this week. Uh, you can find it by going on digitalmusictrends.com and uh, scrolling through to the DMT One to One Show link. Uh, we interview interesting uh, startups and uh, digital music companies every week, so uh, keep an eye out for that. And also check out the news show which comes out uh, every Thursday and we dis uh, there we discuss uh, for one hour the latest news in the digital music uh, industry. Thanks so much for listening and thanks Marcus for joining me. Uh, have a fantastic week and until uh, next time. If you enjoyed watching or listening to the show and would like to find more, head on to digitalmusictrends.com. <laughs>